In this video, we are going to introduce Mo. Mo is a type of central tendency. So Mo is for frequency. So when you use Mo, Mo is good for describing the central tendency of a qualitative data set, but it also works on quantitative data. There are three cases. So when I say the word Mo, Mo means I am looking for the number or the item that has the highest frequency. All right, so case one is no repeating entry, which is a uniform data. So let me give you a data that has no repeating entry. So let's say a one, two, six, 10, 11, and 20. So this one has no repeating entry, right? So every single, or you can say every single entry repeated exactly one time. So this one has no mode. All right, so switch color for the next example. So the next example has one mode. So it can have, it can be a one, two, 10, 10, 10, and then 20, 60. All right, so which data has the highest frequency? Let's add another 60 for fun. Which data has the highest frequency? 10, right? 10 occurs three times. So the mode is, It doesn't have to be quantitative value. It can be A, 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 C, B, B, F, D. Which number has the highest frequency? A. I should say which data. So the mode is A. So this is qualitative data. So if you are thinking about the mean and the median, the mean and median works for quantitative data only. Again, mean and median, they are for quantitative data only. The mode is good for quantitative and qualitative. And then the next one is more than one mode. So let's say uh, we have um, one, uh, five, 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 six, seven, 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 and then uh, 89. So which one is the mode? So five and six. So even though you add another 89, the five and the seven, they still have the highest frequency. So there are two mode. They are the five and seven. All right. So we have a uh, some four data sets in the next example. So I want you to find the mode. So the first data, data set number one, which one has the highest frequency? I can see that 10 has the highest frequency, right? So the first one, the mode is 10. So the first data set, mode is equals to 10. What about the second data set? The second data set, I can see that uh, 10 and 20, they both have the highest frequency. So there are two modes. We call this bimodal, like bicycle, right? Bi means two. So two modes, 10 and 20. The third data set, one. All right, so the third data set, I don't see any repeating entry. So this one has no mode. What about the last one? 555, 999, 12, 12, 12. So 5, 9, 12, they all have the same frequency. So this one has no mode. I, am, I need the one that has the highest. So since they are equally high, then there is no mode then. All right, so the next one is uh, we have uh, the following data is the course grade of 1,000 students in the calculus class. Find the mean, median, and mode. All right, so find the mode. Let's find the mode first. The mode is the grade that has the highest frequency, which is B, right? So mode is uh, B that has the highest frequency. Now, good question. Are you able to find the mean and median? Tell me. Okay. Can you do that? The answer is nope. Why? Because this is a qualitative data. So what is the data look like? I am, let's say you have a, a, a blank paper right in front of you. And I want you to put, put the da data in there. So when you put the data in there, you have to write the letter A 360 times, the letter B 420 times, the letter C 190 times. So what, what kind of data is that? Qualitative data. Are you able to add them up? Are you able to add A plus B divided by 2? What is that equal to? Nothing. 
can you short them in ascending order? No, you cannot, right? So since you cannot short them, you cannot add them, then it is impossible to find the mean and median. So there is no mean and there is no median. All right, another type of uh, another type of example is they use a pie they use a pie chart. So let's draw a pie chart. We have a circle, right? And then we cut the pie into multiple pieces. So let me give you an example. Let's say I ask you one question. What type of transportation do you use to go to work or, or, or go to school? And then let's cut this in, into a few pieces. How about this? We cut that into four pieces. Use car, uh, take a bus, uh, walk to school or uh, you bike, you take a bike. So let's say uh, 300 people use a car and then a 200 people use take a bus and then the bike is 50, the walk is at, at 10. All right, what kind of data is this? This is qualitative data. Again, the question is, what type of transportation do you do you use? I give you four options, car, bus, bike, walk, and then you give me one answer, right? Car, bus, bike, or walk. You don't say what type of transportation do you use to travel to school or drive to work, you, or go, go to work. You don't say 20, right? What is 20? I'm, ask you, I'm asking you to give me a name. So the name is qualitative. So the mode is the item that has the highest frequency, which is car, right? And then there is no mean, and then there is no median because this is a qualitative data. But for the quantitative data, we can always find the mean and median. They are always available. Okay, but mode is not always available. If there is no repeating entry, then there is no mode. All right, that will be all in this video. If you think that is helpful, subscribe, like, share that for me. I appreciate your help really much. I see you all in the next one.